Thank you. I believe it's Caro Gonzalez. Forgive me if I'm not reading your name correctly. It's Caro Gonzalez. Uh, I am Chema Wavy. I'm down from the Southwest Arizona and California. Um, I'm here to speak about Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, although this city is not you know, it doesn't have a city holiday for Columbus Day. We're still celebrating, people still celebrate Columbus Day. There's Columbus Day sales, et cetera, all these things. People still recognize Columbus Day. And so we need to have an Indigenous Peoples Day uh, to counteract that. You need to take uh, the initiative as the city to say we are going to recognize indigenous peoples. Now the history of Columbus Day, uh, the first recognized celebration of it is in the is in 1790 during the Washington uh, presidency. If you didn't know, Washington became a general, got all his military expertise of killing natives. Uh, and uh, the reason why it, the celebration of Columbus 300 years after the fact that he never actually got to the United States Ever he got to the city of Hispaniola, uh, the island of Hispaniola, which is uh, the Bermudas, which is uh, Haiti now. Um, they celebrate it because they wanted to uh, celebrate the idea of killing natives. They wanted to celebrate the idea of doing what's good for your country, uh, to celebrate patriotism. Uh, and this really did mean killing natives and uh, uh, tamping down slave rebellions. Um, the, the next step that was taken was in the 1830s to the 1860s, where they started doing more national stuff that was going on. You know, it wasn't official, but they're doing things to celebrate Columbus Day. Uh, and this was also during the time 1830 was a, it was the Indian Removal Act. That's the Trail of Tears. Um, and then in 1890, if you didn't know, was the Wounded Knee Massacre, which was the, the, the killing of the last free encampment of natives. Not 20 years after that was the first federal recognition of Columbus Day. So Columbus Day is rooted in killing natives and taking their land. So that's why we cannot have Columbus Day. It's, it's not just because he did things in the past. It's because the Columbus Day is rooted in normalizing the white supremacism. It's in, rooted in normalizing the death of natives and racism within the United States. So thank you. And I really encourage the city council and the mayor and the city management office to take proactive steps and to institute an Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. Thank you. Asquali, which is my language for saying thank you.